Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler here. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a installer for your Electron application, similar to the one I have right here. So this is an app called Clips. And so when I click enter, what you'll see is it has a nice little installer. It tells the user what's going on. It's installing the required binaries and it's installing this and updating the progress in real time. So say you have some sort of files you need to install on the user's machine or make sure that are there. Um, but you don't want them to be able to use the app until they're there. This is an example of what you can do. And as you can see, it's an Electron app. It's, you know, installing some file to the machine. And when it's finished installing, what you'll see is it'll actually um, open up the normal desktop experience. So you only ever have to do this once. For example, here's the application right now. I'm just going to pin it to the taskbar. And as you can see, when I click go and then come back, um, I don't have to go through that installer ever again. So let me show you how you can create that for your Electron application. So this is what we're going to be creating right here. Uh, it has a nice little loading screen, curved edges, you can drag it around. And then when it's finished installing, it'll actually load up the percentage um, in our application as normal. So let's go ahead and create this. The first thing I did is I created a div with the ID of loading page. And I gave it a class of loading page so we can style it up. I gave it an H3, which basically is the text we're going to want to load. I'll just kind of start it up. So it's just loading and then some percentage right here. And then here is a progress bar and an inner progress bar as we've styled before. If you're new to the series, I highly suggest you check out the previous episode where we actually create these progress bars so you can see what I'm actually doing to create them because I won't go into that in this video. And then, so this is my loading page, quote unquote. Then I have the actual main app content where I have like the content, the navigation bar, and all I'm doing is I'm setting a style of display none um, right off the rip. So I'm basically just setting this style to be displayed none. And then in the render.js file, I'm listening. So I'm doing something, I'm doing app.on, which is a custom preload method I created where it takes in a message and a callback function. And then I basically call IPC render dot on, I wait for that message, and then I get some data through IPC and I use pass that into the callback function. Yet you don't need that. So yeah, um, I'll show this here for a couple more seconds, but basically what we're doing is we're creating our own event listener. So we're passing in a function um, and a message and we're able to use that. So here we're doing app dot on, here's our message right here. And here's the callback function right here. And the progress is uh, a percentage. And what we're basically doing is we're saying, hey, if the progress is greater than or equal to 100, um, hide the loader page, which is right here. Hide this. So this will be display none. And then show the main app, which is right here. And this will be displayed blocked. So what that'll do is it'll actually show the page. And if not, just update the percentage right here. Now you may be wondering, okay, well, how are you sending the message to the main process or the renderer process? Well, inside of the main process, I basically set the width to 400 pixels and 300 pixels. And what this will do is it'll give us this nice compact um, size right here. So this is 400 pixels by 360 pixels right here. And then what I did is I called this installer function. Now in this installer function, Right now, all I'm doing is I'm just increasing the percentage by about three, one to three percent um, every single sec, uh, every single hundred milliseconds. So this is a totally fake artificial installer, but it's to show you that if you were say installing something, you could keep track of um, the bytes downloaded versus the total file size, and then that could be your percentage or something like that. And basically what I'm doing is I'm checking if the percentage is greater than or equal to 100. If it is, I'm clearing this interval. For you, you would just return it out of the function. And then I'm setting the window size to 740 by 600 pixels. And then basically the whole time I'm sending this percentage to the um, renderer process. So I'm doing window.webcontents.send. So this is sending a message to our window with the name install progress and then the percentage. In this install progress, I'm listening to it right here. And here's the percentage. So this is how you can create a installer with Electron. 
For example, right now, I'm just simply um, showing a random percentage, as you can see, and updating it. But um, with apps like my clip compressor and stuff like that, I am actually um, installing a file and I'm showing the download progress. It's a little more involved. If you want to know more about how to actually get the progress of a download, um, leave it down below in the comments. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.